Let's talk about three ways that physicians can use social media today. The first way is to filter information. More patients than ever are going online to research their diagnosis and treatment options, but sometimes the information that they're reading online isn't always the most reliable. Social media gives doctors a platform where they can share reliable health information or guide patients to better health websites. A second way that doctors can use social media is by connecting with their colleagues so they can learn from them. Did you know that there are over 20 million articles on Medline and the volume of medical literature grows by 10% every year? In a given year, there are 24,000 new cancer articles, which averages to about 64 new manuscripts every single day. It's very difficult to keep up with all that information. One way is with social media, like Twitter. Because on Twitter, you can follow thought leaders in any area of medicine and healthcare. You could listen to what they have to say. You can read the articles that they share. I have a Twitter list of about 40 healthcare thought leaders that I follow dozens of times a day. I listen to what they have to say. I read what these thought leaders share. And to me, it's one of the most powerful ways to stay up to date in any area of medicine and healthcare. A third way that physicians can use social media is by using it as a platform to make their voices heard. We live in an era of healthcare reform, but a lot of the decisions are being made by policymakers and politicians with little clinical training. It's important for physicians to make their voices heard, to share their story, so we can have an influence on our evolving healthcare world around us. And those are three ways that doctors can use social media today.